you want to see something that's absolutely ridiculous? Check this out. Sure did just teleport me straight inside the abandoned lab. And now believe it or not, that is actually the fourth time that a teleportation potion has just went and dropped my ass right dead center in the middle of that place. I kid you not. Look at this. We take you around the block here, okay? Tombstone, right? We go down here, tombstone. And then down here, tombstone. And then what would be another tombstone, okay? These things are vicious. They're evil, okay? Teleportation potions have taken me all over the place. And in this mod in particular, it has dropped me right down here in the middle of this place. You, you know, the, the Gotharum portal down there. It's dropped me there. It's put me in the bottom of the ocean. It sent me to the depths of hell. It dropped me on top of uh, something that I, I probably wasn't meant to see yet, but we'll get to that all in good time. There's a little teaser for you. It's dangerous. It's teleportation potions in this mod. My God. I mean, it'll put you right dead center in the middle of the abandoned lab. Like I could have started the patient zero fight down there. What's up with that? That's uh, something you might want to get fixed. Or maybe not. I just let it add to the chaos of what those uh, little bastard potions do. But it's fine. It's okay. It's hilarious. I love it. When I'm out exploring and I find one and I just get oopsie daisy dead center to the middle of the abandoned lab with no way to collect my money. But I guess it is you get what you pay for. But anyways, welcome back to the mod of redemption. We are ready in this episode to finally wrap up the last of free hard mode. And I've done a lot of stuff off camera. As you can see, I've got two new pets on me right here. Uh, this little fella right here is, uh, well, there's a whole lot of going ons going ons here. Okay. This is the Junimo from Stardew Valley. You get it from the star drop item here. And how you do this, if you don't know, is those Joja Colas that I've been fishing up nonstop. You take one to a dryad and then she's like, hey, let me purify that. So you hold it out like you're going to, you know, do the cheers with the tavern keep. She'll open a portal to Stardew Valley and then you get that thing. You know what I mean? That's pretty cool. And, and this does a lot of stuff. I'm not even gonna go over all that, but there you go. You can just look at that. And then I got the Magic Lantern, which was an item that was actually recommended as a really good mining pet. Even more so than the ones that I thought were mining pets. Uh, they don't exactly work the way that I thought they did. The mod's taking some getting used to, trying to understand the language and figuring out exactly how things work. Some of these pets just straight up completely change the mechanics of the game sometimes, which is really cool. I like it. It's not a complaint. I do enjoy that. It's just taking some getting used to. So we got all these guys. We got our base set up, and we've also built a couple of smaller outposts. Something in the snow biome right above this ship because it'll be important later. I'm not going to tell you why. You'll find out on your own. Got a nice little cactus base over here, which I think just looks absolutely ridiculous in the desert just to have something in the desert for no reason at all. We have our little jungle base down here in the corner right across from the lizard temple for obvious reasons. And, you know, I'll work on making some kind of arena for Plantera eventually. And then we have our cavern pylon all the way down at the bottom of our instivator courtesy of Fargo's. Just gonna make life a lot easier getting around down here. Then of course, if we go up from this right here, uh, of course, because why wouldn't I? And this actually didn't take me very long at all. I've gotten myself constructed a little uh, mob farm down here. Excuse me, you're not supposed to be here. Pardon me. Got myself a little arena. It's basically the same standard procedure. I don't think I ever make it look the same way twice, but this is what I got here. Little timer set up, some dart traps, some geysers little block above me to stop the enemies that are jumping over it. Gonna probably put some lizard traps in there eventually when I can. Stand down here and collect piles of money all day long. Pretty nice. Still get hit a couple of times, but it is what it is, especially whenever you put a minion out there. If I set Skull Digger out there and activate the power, okay, this guy, I tell you what, he's gonna go on a rampage. He is just gonna slaughter everything that moves. I mean, look at him go. I mean, this arena is really for him more than anything. Oh, isn't it juicy though? I mean, my God, look at this man. Oh, yes. And I get all the gold and all the piles of items and everything's awesome. This place is pretty effective, if you couldn't tell. Gold Digger is having a great time. And now back to the peace and quiet. I have finally got it. I figured out why the last of that, uh, the crux card down there, I wasn't able to get. Asher. This is the one that I was supposed to get. And the reason why it wasn't working was because I already had the, uh, what is it, the Jovial Bone Duo, I believe? Was that the one that he gave me, or the Gank Squad? It was one or the other. I don't remember exactly which one, because I honestly don't even use it, really. If you already have that in your inventory, then he's not going to give you the pop-up to let you get another Crux card, because I guess by default, you can keep going back and getting the same one if you lose it or whatever, you know? So we've gotten all of these, and I think this is all I need to get whatever it is from What's-His-Face whenever he finally shows up. Right there he is. 
So now, can I have a Crux card? Skeletal Duo, Fallen Anglic, and Gathic Soldiers, an Assassin Trio, and a Suave Duelist. Graveyard. All is one in the world of bones. That is awesome looking. Wait a minute. Can I summon giant pile of zombie skeleton things here? That is awesome. I'm, I'm really a big fan of that. I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen a Graveyard in a while also. Just, uh... Putting that out there, it's been a minute. The skeletons really haven't been partying that much. Kind of disappointed because it went from happening every night to never happening at all ever. That's kind of a bummer. What do we got here? Determined. I'm not even really sure what a good affix is for these things. But, uh, cool. We'll summon them out. There we go. I've got the Bone Legion. Look at that. That is so cool. I don't know if it's really going to be effective. I, I might just be doomed to failure no matter what, but that is awesome. I like that. They're not going to come down here, are they? I got to bring them with me. Come on, let's go. Oh, and right in the lava you go. Yeah. And there they go. About as well as I thought it was going to go. That's fine. Um, let's go and mine some Hellstone then, I guess. Make sure we have our Shadow Key this time. I've got my Obsidian Skin Potions maxed out. I got all the Essentials maxed out. All the potions are good to go. We're ready to wrap up free hard mode. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out for my mining setup. And I'm just going to go plowing through the depths down here. Collect everything that I can. So much faster to go this way. I'm telling you what, this little setup right here, there's not really a lot to it. It's just the mining set with the ancient chisel and all the mining potions. But it's so good. It works so well. Super efficient. Then after I'm done ripping this apart, we'll take a look at some of those shadow chests. See if there's anything new in there good for me. Probably going to be a real quick episode down here. I'm not going to lie. We're going to jump into hard mode real fast. The only thing I really worry about is uh, building the underground arena down here for the wall of flesh because you got to do that you know you have to do it and if you don't do it you're gonna have a bad time i've tried not doing it but if i use the fargo's thing whatever is at the end of the underworld down here is going to get obliterated and i am very most definitely sure that it's uh, probably going to be important for later so not gonna do that gonna do it the hard way which is gonna suck because normally I, I really don't care what's down here. Dark Lance, check off the list. Very nice. Flame Lash, check arena, we got it. And a Shadow Key, interesting. A pet Shadow Mimic. It increases regular enemy loot coin drops by 15%, item drops by six. Bosses enemy loot coin drops by seven, and item by five. Boss bags are unaffected by item drops, interesting. So is it better to fight them on a lower difficulty? I'd get more stuff from them then. Increases bag opening, loot coin drops by 5%, item drops by 4. Bag opening is things such as oysters, presents, and such. It crates even too, that could be really good for uh, hard mode. I might do some fishing with that fella there. Might be able to save myself a whole heck of a lot of trouble. I mean, we're definitely probably good on Hellstone right now. I just realized that I've almost got 4,000 of it already. I'm thinking that it's probably easier to travel across the underworld underground, though. I don't know. I feel like it's simpler because down here there's less space for enemies to spawn, so anything that does spawn is going to be miles away from me. With the exception of, you know, th those kind of things there, you know, the big boneheads. Bonehead worms. For the most part, though, besides them, the real only, like, issue that I have to deal with while I'm down underground, underground, probably just imps. But they spawn miles away from me, so it's not really a concern. I just kind of pop up here like this, open my chest, grab what I need, and then get the hell out of here real fast. All right, we got another pet. We have a slice of hell cake. Grants lava immunity for 10 seconds in lava game. The following, flippers, 10 defense, movement speed, and obsidian skin buff now grants 8 defense and minus movement speed. Interesting. Don't know that I'm going to use that, but that's kind of cool. And the item magnet, of course, which is just about useless to me due to my modded power. Got a few more of those get ball man killed potions, which is uh, kind of horrifying. I'm good. I'll pass on all of it. 100% of it. I will pass on it. I think I've pretty much got everything that I need. The only things that I have left that I need to grab, I believe, come from enemies that are on the surface anyway. So I'm kind of in a bit of a bind here. Oh, here we go, we got the Ash Forest. Just a little bit of a, a taste of what could be if the Relogic devs would release an update with an alternate underworld. That would make my day. I have, for the longest time, advocated for not an alternate Hallow, but an alternate underworld. The underworld has been in the game forever too, right? It's been in here for a really long time, and it's really only changed graphically and been given a background. But otherwise, the mobs that spawn down here and the way that it's generated is pretty much the same. Maybe a little bit more uh, advanced when it comes to the world generation, but I mean, come on now. But they added critters? Is that it? You can do better than that. Give us some, like, super cold Norse elf-themed underworld, right? With, like, a mist and fog and freezing cold water that chills you to the bone and make the end boss instead of the wall of flesh like a maybe a giant serpent that chases you from one end of the underworld to the other. I think that would be neat. Oh, here we go. 
I guess we found that thing that I wasn't supposed to find when I was randomly teleporting. Blazing Bastion, eh? What do we got in here? Hmm, Elwing Bow. Okay, so I didn't get everything, but I don't really need that on account of me not being a ranger. Nifty soundtrack you got, though. I'm a big fan of that. Anything else hide in here for me? Demonic Hellcart. Seven seconds of immunity to lava. That might actually not be too bad to carry going forward. Masterful Flame Lash. We'll take that over the Furious one. Anybody home? Oh, hi. God. A lot of demons. You gonna give me my, uh, the thing that I need? What is it called? I know what it's called. It's, it's in there somewhere. Where's it at? I know what it is that I want. Ray, the, the thing with the, 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 what they're shooting. What's it called? Demon something. Demon, demon circles. Give me your demon circles. My god, there's so many of these here. These chests, there's not even really a point of even exploring. They just come right here. Raided some demon bastion, and then I would have got everything that I needed. Your little fortress is a little bit difficult to explore. What is this? Ah. Super amazing chest. What are you? I can't mind you, whatever you are. Soundtrack for this place sounds like other world music. I feel like I've heard it somewhere before, but I don't know. There it is, Demon Scythe! I got it, Demon Circles, my god. Your cage is down here. Looks like maybe a uh, sewer system, perhaps? Oops, I broke it. I didn't mean to do that, but I did break it. All right, well, there's not really anything here right now, but I'm sure it's because I'm here early. I'm guessing maybe this place was meant to be explored later on. I'll have to come back to that later and see what's up. For the meantime, I think I'm going to use some wood platforms from the edge here, make a whole bunch ton of them, and this will be my, like, starting point for my wall of flesh fight. Because it's already all the way over here in the end. One bazillion D platforms ought to do it just fine. Gonna have to do a little bit of trimming, but it's fine. All right, that should be sufficient. I've got half the underworld essentially covered with a platform. That didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. Thank God for, honestly, whatever mod it is that lets me place all those platforms at once. For the life of me, I genuinely don't remember which one it is. My money is on Fargo's, or maybe, maybe Alchemist NPC? I guess I could go looking through the config, but I really don't know, to tell you the truth. Okay, now we got all this stuff back here, let's deposit it all off and uh, see what all I can make. All right, let's see. I don't really have a whole lot of obsidian, but I can craft a ton of bars, so I should be good. Eh, that'll do. 300 should be more than enough for what I need. All right, let's see. Anything new? Anything special, amazing, wonderful, fantastic? Spectacular? Looks like absolutely not for mage. Ninja potion? Okay, flat cannon. Hard mode. Lava proof fishing net? Okay, great. Imp staff? Nothing has changed. Molten greaves? Phoenix blaster? Nothing is different. Absolutely nothing has changed. Just a pile of melee weapons. Uh, great. That's amazing. I guess I'll make volcano and then Knight's Edge. Great. Well, I got that if I want it now. Pretty nifty looking thing you got there. I like it. I guess I could make a Molten Pickaxe, but I've already got the Pure Iron one, which is legendary, no less, so there's not really a point in making that either. Molten Set's not really useful for anything. I could grab it just to take a look at the set bonus and see if anything about that's changed. Probably something fire related, I would guess. Yeah, cannot be set on fire. Interesting. And fire elemental resistance. Cool. I like that. That's, that's good for melee. Spend a lot of time in close range down there could be handy. Don't know if a lot of early hard mode stuff is in danger of lighting you on fire, but... Oh well. Now the only thing I want to do now is make Terra Spark boots, and I think the only thing I'm missing is an Obsidian Rose. Yeah. So I could buy it from the Tinker after defeating Skeletron, eh? I figured I could. There it is. We're all good. The only thing I couldn't get, but I don't feel like farming imps, so... It's gonna save me a lot of trouble. We'll get our Terra Spark boots, and then we'll spend every last ounce of money that we have trying to uh, upgrade it. There we go. Boots of the Hero. Very nice. Oh, that's right. Hang on. We gotta go down. We gotta go down under. Go to good and under my. All the way down. Down to the deep depths. Upgrade. Hmm. 24 gold a cling. Hmm. I don't like that. Melee. Garbage. Intrepid. Garbage. Angry. Intrepid. Spiked. Can you please? How about warding? How about warding? Warding? Hey! That's what I'm talking about. You just have to politely imply. Yeah, I've given up completely on damage right now. I die way too fast. So... I surrender. All right, now we should be good to go. I think I've got everything that I need, every weapon. Oh, I didn't upgrade my demon schweith. Back down we go. Hey, I'm back. How are you? Fling me, please. Oh, this is much cheaper. I like this so much better. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. I need it. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Look at that big damage. All right. We got all the magical power that we could ever hope for. We got crux cards. We got potions. We've got the power. I think we're good to go. You know what I don't have, though, is <laughs> I don't have what I do not have is my guide voodoo doll. So we go back up again. OK, wait, hang on a second. So I don't have to do the thing with the lava. Hold on just one moment, please. 
fleshy doll. There we go. Ow. We're going to do it. Maybe. Maybe we're going to do it. We're going to try. So very hard. I'll see you at the end of hell. All right, here we are at the very ends of the earth. Call forth the fleshy doll and see what happens. All right, folks, this could get ugly. 14,000 health. Oh, we got a new sprite, too. That's going to be awesome. Look at that. Oh, God. Oh, what is the name of that, uh, what, that phobia with the holes? What is it? Ah, I don't remember what it is. Okay, also, I'm kind of kicking his butt. I'm not even going to lie. I'm taking, like, next to no damage, and I'm shredding him. See, what did I say? I do plenty of damage already as it is. I don't need any help. Don't need any extra menacing. Like, dude, this guy's going to fall right over. It's not going to get ugly. Dude, this is beautiful. I mean, look at that thing. And good night. That's the end of that. All right, so I got about that far. <laughs> Barely any distance at all whatsoever. And the wall of flesh has been defeated. The ancient spirits of light and dark have been released. There's some rumbling coming from the verdant. We've got our mastery shod. Open the treasure bag. Have our demon hot. Put that soul bobble right back on. Jam, I got the warrior emblem. The breaker blades reskin there. Looks amazing. That is so much better than the original. I love that. Got the charm of luck. We'll throw that in there. Bone hammer, of course. We'll hold on to that. Is there a pet that drops from him? I don't remember. I definitely want to get the sorcerer emblem, though. 100%. So we may buy some bags. Good possibility. But isn't there... There's a master mode pet that comes from this guy, isn't there? No, there is not a pet that comes from him. Can get the goat skull. I get a mount from him. That's what he actually gives me. All right, well, neat. Uh, I guess we'll go back up here, drop all this stuff off. Uh, can I convert this? Add it to the pile. I will buy some more bags from the lady. Excuse me. Can I speak to you? Where are you? Operator lady. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Hello. Hi, how are you? Uh, could I please have bag? I would. It cost me a platinum. Better be in there. No. Guess what wasn't in there? It was summoner garbage and another melee nonsense. Summoner garbage and melee nonsense. I hate you. What do you want to say, Zephos? Advice? Strange metal folk meandering about the island, firing beams of light on random objects and creatures. No idea where they came from, but I did see one get attacked. Once it was weakened, it stopped moving and vanished into the air. Their purpose is a mystery to me. Maybe you can figure it out? Stay away from robots that fire lasers at things willy-nilly, but I mean, I guess I could go running into my demise. Why not? Ancient technology, goddess of nature, dungeon soldier, huddled peace, dubious watcher redacted. That's kind of freaky looking. Kind of vaguely looks like Hallam, though. Not gonna lie. All right, well, I see what you have to say. The T-Bot also has something to say. Willie's weapons are useless to me. I already own a white arsenal. Uh, you sell something in the shop, maybe? Oh, yeah, you do. All kinds of new stuff. Excuse me, nuclear warhead? Can only detonate within the outer thirds of the world on the surface, and while no unexplodable tiles are nearby, create a wasteland. Um, circuit? Oh, these must be the robots. Carbon myofiber... Capacitor, plating. You sell some expensive stuff, sir. Uh, I'll definitely be back for that at some other time. Right now, we're going to go and explore the Verdant. Also, just to make things exciting, we're going to make sure that I have that disabled. Um, also, pardon me. Where is, uh, what's her name? Forest Nymph? She's, uh, she's not here anymore. Wonder when she left. My alignment hasn't gotten down. All right, well, let's go see Apotheosis, see what's up down there. A powerful spirit has been released. With us, more free you'll begin to see a couple of changes. You might have already noticed a couple. Anyhow, as thanks, take this. I... I don't need it anymore. While you're here, know that I will reward you for defeating more evils. So check in sometimes, hmm? You know what? Sure, I will come and visit you. Oh, Heart of Growth. Permanently increases minion damage by 5%. Can only be used once per person. Shimmer roll into the Crystal Heart. Grants immunity to various debuffs on use. Interesting. I don't know if that would be better than... Uh, definitely better than summon damage. So I may go hunt down the Shimmer and deal with that. All right, I'm down here in the Verdant. Is there anything new? Must I increase my aggressiveness down here. Anything dangerous? Anything new? Wonderfully soft, Mysteria leggings? Is this a mining set? What about up on the surface? Is anything new here? Doesn't look like anything has changed with it up here. But there's definitely some new things spawning down there, so I'll have to take a look at that at some point. There's Mysteria saplings I can plant Mysteria trees with. Through nearby Verdant, the trees are solid and cannot be walked through. Okay, so if I bring lush soil over here, I can place these down then. Okay, cool. We'll see if they actually grow. That'll be kind of neat. Have to check in on them later. All right, I found my shimmer in my world here. Finally came across it. It actually wasn't too terribly hard to find. Actually, a teleportation potion brought me down here dead center, like about right here. So, uh, yeah, those things are about a 50-50 split of absolutely evil and kind of helpful. But we have a few things that I'm able to shimmer, thanks to the mod that tells me what I can shimmer, because genuinely, I don't know. 
I really have no idea. Also, I'm being assaulted by about every manner of hard mode creature imaginable. There is something down there in the depths of this shimmer that does not want to sink and also uh, will not die. I have no idea what it is. Okay, it's dead now. Okay, I've got to be very careful not to fall into this because, uh, you know, I've uh, had experiences with Shimmer before. Can I have some peace and quiet, please? Thank you. That's uh, not quiet or peaceful. All right. Allow me to craft what I need. Mana crystal becomes arcane crystal. Life crystal becomes vital crystal. Art of growth becomes crystal heart. And grapefruit becomes ambrosia. Permanent items that can be used to grant me power. Increase my health. Immunity to debuffs. Ooh. That's nifty. Ambrosia and arcane crystal, which is all that I have access to right now, at least as far as I know. I know there is a ton of stuff more that I can uh, shimmer. We'll get there when we get there. Also, I'm curious. Where are we gonna go? Here I go. Eat. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be that. I do believe that I am the done with everything for right now. I've gotten through the end of pre-hard mode, discovered a couple of new things, and I've got lots of work to do now. Basically, I've just restarted the whole thing all over again, but at least, thankfully, I'm cutting through a lot of these pre-hard mode enemies pretty handily, so that's good. I'm very excited about that. But anyways, like I said, I think I'm going to call it an episode here with all that hard work done. I am excited to get into hard mode. Things in this mod are about to start getting pretty wild and crazy. Like I said, with that done, I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it, and as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, Dave, and I hope you have a good one of those, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.